Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to repair the startup disk on M1 Apple Silicon Max. If you are having any unexpected disk issues or disk errors with an Apple Silicon Mac, you may want to try using the repair tools within Disk Utility available in the recovery mode. For those who aren't aware, Disk Utility has been an integral part of macOS since the beginning of Mac OS X. In addition to allowing users to erase and format their Mac storage drive before reinstalling macOS. It is also capable of searching for errors related to the formatting and directory structure of the disk. Be cautious about disk errors though, as they can often lead to unexpected system behavior and sometimes major errors can even prevent your machine from booting completely. Thus, using the repair function may be useful. First and foremost, make sure you have made a time machine backup of your Mac so that you do not permanently lose files that may be damaged during the process or if this utility detects errors that it can't repair. Do know that you will need to boot into recovery mode, a process which is different with ARM Apple Silicon Max compared to Intel. That all being said, let's learn how to repair the startup disk on M1 Apple Silicon Max. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. If your Mac is turned on, you will need to shut down your Mac first. Once you are done, press and hold the Touch ID or Power button on your Mac to boot it up. Keep pressing the Power button until you see the loading startup options right below the Apple logo. This will take you to the startup disk and options screen. Now hover the cursor over options and click on continue. Now you will be taken to the macOS Utilities screen. Here, select Disk Utility and click Continue to get started. Here, click on the view icon next to Disk Utility and choose Show All Devices. Now, all the internal and external disks, their volumes and containers will show up on the left pane. The startup disk is located at the top of the sidebar and you will need to expand it to access its containers and volumes. Next, you need to select a particular volume and then click on the first aid option located at the top of the window. When you are prompted to confirm your action, choose Run to begin checking the volume for errors and repair if necessary. Once it's complete, click on Done and repeat the above steps to run first aid on the other volumes, containers and disks. Hopefully you have a better idea regarding how to troubleshoot and fix disk errors on your Mac. Once you are done repairing your disk, you can exit out of macOS Utilities by clicking on the Apple logo from the menu bar and choosing Restart to reboot your Mac normally. It's worth mentioning that whenever you are attempting to repair a disk, start with the volumes, followed by the containers, and lastly, the disk itself. The reason why I suggest this hack is because it gives you the best results when looking for disk errors. Also, not all errors that are found can be repaired by disk utility. In such rare cases, you will need to erase or format your disk with disk utility. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can repair the startup disk on M1 Max. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy macOS tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.